All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Mr. Urutia here, going to go over unit four, lesson one, practice problem. Number one, okay, this problem is very complicated. Um, there's several ways to do the problem. I'm going to show you two different ways. I'm going to show you the visual way and then also the algebra way with the variables, okay? And then you'll be able to decide which way you want to do it. And I've already color-coded things here, right? So Tyler reads two-fifths of a book on Monday. So I'm going to do that color in purple. He reads one third of it on Tuesday. That's going to be green. Two, thir two ninths of it on Wednesday. That will be orange. And then three quarters of the remainder on Thursday. This part right here, I colored in brown. Notice here it's saying of the remainder on Thursday. This of the remainder part makes the problem the complicated part because these are the first fractions, two fifths, one third, and two ninths. This is all of the book. The three quarters is of what's left of what he's read. So I'm going to start with a diagram here, visualizing um, the book. And I'm using graph paper here for a reason. So I'll put that up right now. All right, so here's a visual representation of the book. And uh, I made this 90 squares because I'm looking at the denominators here. 15, 3, 9. And four, a common denominator, all of these have is, uh, or these first three have is 90. So that's what I'm doing it there. It's going to make this easier. So I made this 90 squares. It's a nine uh, by 10 square to represent, or rectangle to represent the book. Okay, so now we're just going to visually do what the problem says. So he, he reads two fifteenths of the book on Monday. Okay, so on Monday, he reads 2 fifteenths. That is equal to 12 out of 90 for that fraction. I just need to, I'm just multiplying both of these parts by 6. 15 times 6 is 90. 12 is 2 times 6. So then all I need to do is color off and mark off 12 of these squares here in the book. Okay, so this is the 12 ninetieths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So this is what he reads on Monday. On Tuesday, he reads one-third of the book. So one-third, that's going to be, uh, what fraction is that equal to out of 90? So I'm going to multiply this by 30. So that's 30 out of 90. So on uh, Tuesday, he's going to read 30 out of 90 squares. Okay, so that's this part right here. This is the 30 out of 90. That's 30 squares. This is what he reads on Tuesday. Then on uh, Wednesday, he reads two ninths. Now, how many squares is two ninths going to be? I'm just going to take this and multiply it by 10. I'm going to make this out of 90. So that's 20 ninetieths. So then for the part that he reads in the book, I'm going to color and section off 20 of them. Okay, so this orange part right here is what he's read on Wednesday. That's what our, di our diagram is showing so far, what he has read. Now the part, and now we know how much is also left over, right? Each one of these squares is part that's left over. Now this part on the question, it says of the remainder, three-fourths or three-quarters of the remainder. That's what we're going to look for here three quarters of this remaining part. So how many squares do we have here? Okay, so I counted the squares here. There's 28 squares, so that's 28 out of 90 is the remainder. So now to see to figure out what he read on Thursday, I'm going to do three fourths of this. So this so I'm going to do 28 out of 90 to find three fourths. that's just multiplying by. 3 out of 4, okay, 28 times 3 is 84, 90 times 4 is 360, and now I can re simplify this, uh, 84 over 360, I can divide them by 2, that's going to be 42 out of 180, I can divide it by 2 again, and I get 21 out of 90.
Okay, so now we know what, what Tyler has read every single day. He read 21 out of 90, 30 out of 90, 20 out of 90, and 21 out of 90. Okay, 90 is not the number of pages in the book. That's a fraction of pages in the book. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to color code and show you what's left in the book. So if he read 21 out of 90 on Thursday, I'm going to color code this in pink. Okay, so I color coded that in pink. So that's the 21 out of 90 that he read on Thursday. How much is left? How much has he not read? So there's seven of these squares left. So there is. So the part that's left, I'm going to write this at the very bottom in red so we can kind of formalize and get to what the answer is. Okay, so the amount left, there are seven left out of 90. Okay, so there are seven out of 90. Now, what we know here is that there are 14 pages left to be read. So this seven out of 90, this is equal to a fraction, 14, out of a number here. So this fraction of what's left is equal to the fra the pages in the book. This box here that I have, this is the pages of the book. That's how many pages are left in the book. This fraction here will be equal to this fraction. So then all I need to do here is just see what can I multiply to go from 7 to 14. It's just multiplying by 2. So that means 90. I'm also going to do 90 times 2. which is 180 pages. So the book has 180 pages. And we saw here in the visual how it's done. What we're going to do next is I'm going to uh, show you how to do it algebraically. Okay, so now in showing it algebraically, what we're going to need is we're going to use X to represent the number of pages in the book, and we're going to write an equation. So first, the first thing we're going to do is figure out how much he's read, and we're going to write that algebraically, right? So he's read, he read two-fifths on Monday, so that's going to be two-fifths X. On Tuesday, he read one-third of it, so I'm, I'm going to add these numbers, okay? So now he read one-third of it on Tuesday. I'm adding these because I'm figuring out how much he's read total, and I'm writing it as an addition problem. Then on Wednesday, he reads two-ninths of it. Now, to find the what he reads on Thursday, all of this, this is what he's reading. This is being taken away from the total uh, pay, the total amount in the book. So this will be minus an X minus this number. So X is the number of pages. He's reading all this, so that's why this is all being taken off. That's why it's minus. Then for Thursday, the three-fourths of the book of the remainder... You're going to do all of this and then multiply it by three-fourths. Okay, so I'm going to work on this part first before I do the multiplying by the remainder. Okay, so now here inside the parentheses, I have two-fifteenths. Remember in the problem how we wrote them as equal fractions out of 90? I'm going to use those fractions again to do the addition. Okay, so these are all the equal fractions of what he's read. And remember, this is going to tell us um, what's being taken off Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So I add all these things together. I add all these things together, keeping the denominator the same. 12 plus uh, 30 plus 20, which is going to be 62x. So this is what he's read so far then minus taking that away from x. So this part right here will be, and I'm going to write the x as 90 out of 90x. That's this part right here. That's the entire book. Minus, he's read 62 out of 90. This is going to tell me the remainder. So now we're going to finish out the problem by doing this multiplication. This is the part that is left in the book. So when I do the remainder, one-fourth is what's left. So now I'm going to multiply. I'm writing in red so you can see I'm getting the final answer, right? Multiplying the fraction. The fraction here is going to be 28 
out of 360 times x is equal to 14. This 28 out of 360, this is how many, this is the fraction of the book that's left. So I just need to, to find this. What number times 28 out of 60 is 14? So all I would need to do here is multiply by the reciprocal or divide. And if we check it, if you check 180 times this fraction, you would get 14. Okay, so one, so that's how many pages are in the book. But here, all this is the steps to write the equation, all right? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.